I'll have three Guinnesses, a Long Island iced tea. Harvey Wallbanger. What is it called? A Harvey Wallbanger. Harvey Wallman? Wallbanger. I'll look it up. I'm about to go to the bathroom and do it. Oh, boy. They cannot make a Harvey Wallbanger, one of the oldest, most classic cocktails. We don't have Galliano. Do you want something else? Uh, we'll take a Cosmo instead. Now, is a Cosmo red, or is it not red? They can't make a Cosmo. Cosmo is one of the most popular drinks in America. Yep. These guys do not know what they're doing. So when this staff came in today, the first thing they did was marry their liquor bottles. That's ridiculous. That's illegal. What do you think the second thing they did when they came in was? From the looks of it, a little drinking, a little boozing, that's just a train waiting to crash. So I got two locals for recon tonight, Emmanuel and Eric, and let's see what they think of this bar. I don't have a full bar menu. I mean, what do you normally drink? You got margaritas here? I can make whatever. I think I want to do that. A green margarita. Oh, yeah. You like that? It's okay. I think I asked for a margarita, though. Oh, who made it? Cheeks. Cheeks. He said he asked for a margarita. <laughs> now, if they can't make a margarita, I'm guessing they're not going to do magic with a catfish either. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. Okay, now we got a bright yellow margarita. Man. Oh! That's a, I've never had a margarita that bad in my life. Ever. Okay, so we've struck out twice. I'm gonna try to get an old fashioned and see what they do. Excuse me. Yes. Can I get an uh, old fashioned instead of this margarita, please? You want an old fashioned? Yes. It's the old fashioned, one of the most popular old drinks fashioned. in America right now. Do you see anyone making an old fashioned? Not one. Can't get nobody to get three shots for the kitchen. Excuse me. Yes. Where is my old fashioned? I don't have the ingredients. Really? Did they respect each other? Did they respect the customers? They are failing because of everything they do. Let's, Let's do this, because this is unbelievable. Introduce yourself, please. Hi, my name is Robert Getty. Manny LeGree, good to meet you, sir. How you doing, Manny? How you doing? I brought him in here to do recon for me. And I've been watching this freak show that is your business tonight, which is outrageous. Hello, Hello Ashley. there, sir. I'm John. Hi, John. Nice to meet you. I would not be smiling if I were you. I have never seen the lack of control that you guys have for a staff. And I want to bring it down to a customer level for a second. You sat down and you ordered what first? What was the first drink you ordered? Uh, I ordered a margarita. What'd you get? I'm not sure. So we gave up on that one. Yes, for an old fashioned. Did they have the ingredients for an old fashioned? No, sir. What are the ingredients in an old fashioned? Um, I'm a server. I don't know. What is the ingredients in an old fashioned? What is the ingredients in an old fashioned? So you guys sat here for 19 minutes waiting for them to tell you that they didn't have the ingredients for an old fashioned that they don't even know if they have or not. So there's Heather, she's the manager. You want some shot? Yeah. What kind of shot? She's engaging with the guests. That's always a plus. Thank you, dude. Man, that class here on the establishment. There's Alyssa, she's a bartender. I'll work them while I'm drinking. These guys are mostly officers. And there's Anna, both bartenders. I need that shot first. Shot, shot, shot. There's almost more bartenders in the room than there are customers. Right. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Good. What are we drinking? You know, I'll do the Manhattan. Manhattan. What do you recommend? What's your specialty? I love flavored Long Island. All right. Anything else? Uh, we have this drink. Uh, it's really pink. It's pretty manly. No, let's go. We'll go with the Long Island. That's not a Long Island iced tea. It's not a Long Island iced tea. And if you're supposed to make something comparable to that, you're not going to do a glass of juice. I think manly drink. These guys asked for a Long Island iced tea, and they got a pink drink with a cherry and an orange on top. Did you order this? No, I didn't order this one. Is this... You said you didn't want it? No, I thought you gave me the Long Island one. I'm really no. good at this. <laughs> These girls are clueless. Looks like she's making a Manhattan, but coming straight out of a bottle. How do you measure that? I've been bartending for a lot of years, John, and I cannot measure coming straight out of a bottle without a pour spot. And look at what she's doing with the sugar. That's complete cross-contamination. disgusting. <laughs> Old fashions get sugar, not Manhattans. 
Now that Smash glass, the that glass, glass could have, yeah. that glass could have chipped in there. Yeah. Okay, she's not stirring it. She's shaking it. Guys, we have bartenders that haven't been trained. Uh, let me know how that is. If it's not good, I'll make you another one. Boy, there you go. What is Look at these guys? With the <laughs> drinks. You gotta be kidding me. I don't have a lot of mixed drinks around here. I don't know. It's been a minute. Just... Oh boy. You don't like it? It's okay. It's a little strong. None of the drinks I ordered were correct. It was terrible. Everything was terrible. Not out of place. They look. They look uncomfortable with those drinks in front of them. You said he learned the lesson. Why are you still doing it? Did you see her pour that drink? It was a 12 count. Three to four ounces in one drink, not only illegal and irresponsible. Right. That customer can never have another drink. Yeah. That's her one sale of the night. Here, and a bottle and part. Okay. Thank you. This one, I don't think I can f up. Not, no offense, but I haven't anything that tastes to my liking yet. You know? I love martinis, like dirty martinis. You know what, I'll go dirty martini. No, no, I'm not on you to keep talking. All right, this one's going to be the one. It's going to be the key. This, that olive juice has been sitting in that container God knows how long. Okay. Taking it! Back and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Bottom of a rocks glass is not a tool to strain. It's unsanitary, it's unprofessional, it's disgusting. Yeah. Terrible, dude. So what do you think? You ever seen Rusty Toilet Water? So they've now gotten three drinks. All three are terrible. Yeah. I wanna fucking get my buzz on and like drink and go wait up with my fence idiots are doing. Like the regular person, you kind of have to. And they work here. Faster! Shut up, Jordan! Come over! Drinks! Hey! Shut up! You want to work too? That's cool! Hey, who wants some shots? Oh, they suck. And the ash you to work? I think it's a little bit early for all that nonsense. Where is she? Yeah. The girls are lining them up in the bathroom. They're smart because there's no cameras in the bathroom. And they know there's cameras everywhere else. <laughs> oh, yeah. If Sissy was paying attention, instead of sitting at her desk, she would see what they're doing right behind her back. Whose fault is it that they don't know what they're doing? They know they're doing. They did it purpose. Oh, my god. Like, I seriously. They do. Have yes. you trained them? I'm training them. So you train them how to pour, how yes. to make drinks, and what yes. to do? Yes. These guys ordered them in hand. They were my recon because they're from a local radio station and have huge social reach, and you missed an opportunity to impress them. Let me get all the bartenders behind the bar right now, all of you. We are gonna ask your bartenders to make one drink. One drink! And let's see if your bartenders can do it. Okay. I want everybody to make me a perfect Manhattan. Do we have enough shakers for this? I don't even know what I'm putting in here right now. I want you to watch your bartenders making one of the simplest drinks in America. Let's see how well they do. Is this right to pour the vermouth into this glass? No. Okay, so get out from behind the bar because you don't know what the hell you're doing. Does anybody know what a perfect Manhattan means? I'm out of this one because I don't know how to make it. I don't think I've ever made one. So you're out also. Who else doesn't know how to do it? So you're gone also. Now we're left with three of your six. I learned how to make one five years ago. Haven't made one since. That's what I have. I have one drink, and they are all different. All different. When you do a perfect, you're using the sweet vermouth and a dry vermouth to make it a perfect. You don't keep your vermouth in the cooler. Do you know you're supposed to keep it in the cooler? We sell probably something with vermouth in it once every four months, five months. You don't know what should be refrigerated and what shouldn't. You don't communicate with them. You don't make them better. And then when they fail, you blame it on them. Have you ever been part of this? <laughs> How much bar experience do you have? I'm not even going to dignify that. Finesse, finesse, finesse. Keep doing it. No elbow. It's like this. See that? It's all in the wrist, all in the fingers. You're waiting for a drink? I'm waiting for a drink. 
Make them two, three, four at a time. That tastes. Nope. No problem. Huh. You know why? Why? Because you have to shake it. Remember when you use citrus? Oh, citrus you shake, want to it. shake it. I gotta be a good at cocktail. What are you making? Uh, Fox Fox right so how much goes in his drink? How many ounces? Is it? We were saying it was ten ounces. Ten ounces, yeah. Bill. She's gonna pour 10 ounces in a vodka cranberry. What the hell? They're not even close. Hey, what's happening? How much, man? Yes, I do. Can I make it old-fashioned? Um, I can look it up on my phone. Oh, okay. Simple, simple cocktail, John. What's your favorite cocktail up there? Can you recommend one? Uh, my favorite is the mule, because it's easy to make. The mule gets as easy to make. OK, I'll try that. This side of town, people are just shot in a beer, shot in a beer. That's not true. There's a lot of people doing a lot of mixology in this part of town. No wonder why he's losing money. What did he just put in it? <laughs> he grabbed some 10-day-old lime juice and threw it in there. It was the nastiest, sourest drink I've ever had in my life. Wow. Okay. That's that's some pretty sour <laughs> <laughs> man. Whatever, you know. The guy like that just sucks the energy from the room. He never yeah. adds to it. Can you do like a gin gin martini? You yeah, I could. Let's we'll see how he does with the gin martini. The proper way to make a martini is to stir it. And he's actually gonna shake it. Oh, oh. When you shake a drink too much, that changes the character of the way it looks and the way it tastes. That's why martinis are stirred. You can see that it's misty coming out. Yeah. OK? It's meant to be crystal clear. It's not a good martini at no. all. <laughs> this. Hey, this is kind of gnarly, dude. You, you ordered it. There's no way to talk to your customers. What does taste right? Uh, gin and soda would be fine, man. Inside voices, please. Look at this guy. Chill out or get out. I don't go to your bar and act like a From what I can see, Tim is not a very nice guy. He insults customers who order premium drinks, and then he screams at customers for talking loud in his bar. Is this guy nuts? There they go. I'm not surprised. Why would you stay there? Other than the three customers I sent in, those were the only four people in a whole bar, and he chased them away. Where'd you go? Apparently, I make drinks. How is it? It tastes like flat TBR. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, even Sarah thinks the drinks suck. The recon tonight, I got players from the Utah Royals, which is the state soccer yeah. team. Yeah. What I wanted to do tonight is I'm going to have a couple of the girls come in. I'm going to wait a few minutes, have a couple more girls come in. I want to see if Brad notices this influx of business. So here are our first two girls. What can I get for you guys? Do you guys have any, like, house specials? Like um, We have a, a watermelon-based house try. drink. I'll try that, yeah. You can tell by the glass that drink sucks. This is a pint glass. It's made for beer, not a cocktail. It's just not going to work. Can I get a gimlet, please? Oh, God. Um, I don't know what a gimlet is. Oh. It's a classic. It's a gin drink, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I've worked here 16 years and never had anyone order one. Never had someone order a gimlet? I have never made one in my entire life. OK. Do you want to help me out? Should um, I look it up? Oh, god. Can I just do uh, whiskey sour? I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know. You can't make a whiskey sour that fast. Who's the color of that? That's not a whiskey sour. <laughs> Our drinks definitely look like <laughs> you can have my cherry. Oh, you did get a cherry. And a whiskey sour? Yeah, she was like, let's just put this drink oh, in a small world. <laughs> They're laughing at this place. Yeah. Pissing me off. Oh. Oh. Ridiculous. Is she like leaving, leaving? She just walked out. Like, I think she's, like, done. Whoa. Brad just had an employee walk out, and he didn't even notice. What's up, Jack? 
What I saw out of Brad last night is a complete disconnection from what's going on in his own bar, which has led to bad team morale and an untrained staff. So today in training, we're gonna take it back to basics. All right, so last night you guys were asked about a gimlet, which is a very much classic cocktail. What's in a gimlet? I have no idea. So nobody no idea. comes in and orders a gimlet ever, which I have never sold in 16 years, not once. I'll just tell you right now, Elisa, as a bartender, you should know a gimlet. I don't know what Elisa's deal is with the attitude, but John brought me here to help, and Elisa is not helping any of that happen. What's your drink you served last night? Alice. The Alice? Alice. Would you mind maybe jumping back here and making it? I don't want it. Devin, <laughs> you're the manager, man. This is when you step up. Are you just winging it? I mean, are you counting? What are you doing? A little bit of both, I guess. Okay. Well, let's all taste it. That watermelon still is too punchy. And Elisa, in no way am I knocking your drink. I just think the proportions might be off. But the whole point, the whole point of this training, Elisa, is to prove and get better. I hope I didn't offend you. This is exactly what I don't want. Can we not do the camera thing? Sweetheart, hang on. I hang don't. On. This is exactly I know, what I, know, I didn't I know, I know, want. I, know I don't you want don't. this. I come in here and I bust I my know, ass I, every I, day. I understand. Bro. All they're the do is they're make doing a drink. it in a way. No, they're not. Yes, they so are. Please don't. He's just saying, put it in a smaller glass. But when you when yeah. you flood it with too much, like we're putting it in a beer glass, that's all he's saying. I think she had a little problem with the criticism because that was a drink that she'd made up. If you want to go, if you want to go, you Thank go. Thank you. All right. Thanks. She just, she doesn't deal well with fresher stuff like that. I wish she'd have stayed, but under the circumstances, I thought that it'd be better if she just went home. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.